Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Growing Up Garden. Today I wanna to give you an update and show you how the garden is doing. So before we start the video, I wanna ask you for a huge favor. Can you please subscribe to my channel? It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps me out a lot. All right, so we're gonna start off here in the center of the garden where the pergola is. So the plants have finally made it to the top of the pergola and they're actually starting to climb onto the uh, roof of it. And uh, we've already harvested quite a few of these Kagutsa gourds. Um, this one's getting kind of big because I haven't been out here in a couple days, I've been so busy. But uh, I've been picking them when they have been smaller and I've actually been giving them to my mother who uh, cooks them and puts them in uh, soups. Um, we haven't actually cooked any yet, but uh, yeah, my mother really loves those things. And then we've got my beans on this side and they are at the top as well. And they are loaded with little flowers, which are gonna turn into beans eventually. Pretty, uh, pretty cool looking with everything covered. Oh, okay, here's some beans right here. These are the, these are the good mother stoddard beans. It's supposed to be really good as a dried bean. So hopefully it, uh, it starts pumping out beans here because I'm uh, really looking forward to uh, eating those. My wife's plants, their little hanging baskets are up here. Um, they used to be covered with flowers, but uh, I don't know if the heat wave got to them. Hopefully they bloom again. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a look at the bean teepee. Um, I have some of the beans that have actually uh, made it to the top, which is pretty cool. Um, there are beans on this. There's a bean there. There's a bunch of beans, actually. We'll pan out. We'll walk around it to show you. Pretty cool looking. So I've got the different varieties of beans in here. Um, some have white flowers. This is the Native American uh, runner beans. They have the red flowers. And then the Blue Lake pole beans have the white. And, um, and the Kentucky Wanderer as well has white flowers on them. It's funny, the beans don't wanna like climb I've been trying to change tr I've been training a lot of them to climb up and then they still f fall over and get in the way <laughs> okay so we got that I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna show you the tomatoes uh, my tomatoes this year they're not doing as good as uh, previous years that uh, maybe because of the this, this is the new garden and the soil isn't established yet but um, still pretty good. They've made it to the top of the uh, tomato cages, which is good. And they are um, loaded with quite a few tomatoes. We've already harvested a bunch of tomatoes off of these. And um, so, yeah. So pretty soon we're going to have a ton of uh, tomatoes. <coughs> There's a ripe tomato. Or getting, it's getting ripe, almost ready to pick. Okay, so what we'll do, what we'll do is we'll head over here back to the front and I'll show you the other tomatoes. Now the cherry tomatoes are doing really well this year. We've, uh, we've been picking them every day. My son comes out here in the morning and pretty much eats, well, he was eating all of the ripe tomatoes as they would ripen, but now it's, uh, it's at the point where it's completely loaded with tomatoes and uh, I don't think he can keep up with how many are on here now. So those are the, uh, I think these are, what are these? The sun, sun sweet tomatoes. It's kind of like a sun gold. We've got the super sweet 100s over here. Those are the red ones. And then we've got these guys, which my kids really enjoy. Um, they're, I forget what they're called. They're called Lucky Tiger. Uh, there you go. tomatoes and he said that my son says those are his favorite 
and uh, yeah it looks like they are because he ate a bunch of them there was a bunch on here yesterday and uh now they're gone and then we've got a brandy wine tomato a pink brandy wine and you know what i have a, these things don't produce a ton of tomatoes i've picked i think i've harvested two tomatoes i had one massive one and then the rest have been small and look at this this tomato's not even attached anymore it must have just broke off so hopefully it's uh still good it looks like it's still good but yeah it's got a few on there that are let me see one two three four five six six tomatoes on there so that's doing pretty good let's go back around this way and I will show you the eggplants. Now the eggplants have been producing quite a bit and we actually harvested a ton of these. Um, and my wife tried to cook them and it, uh, you know what, it didn't come out very well. It had a funny taste to it. And uh, we're still, we're still looking for that recipe or that, that technique that shows you how to cook them properly because they had kind of a funny flavor to them. This one, oh, that thing's sharp, woo! It's a white eggplant. And then I, I bought these eggplant, this this variety of eggplant, but it makes these little tiny uh, eggplants that are uh, orange with a green stripe down the side of them. Striped uh, Togo eggplant. Very cool looking though. And then we've got our zucchini plant plants. They've been producing uh, zucchini pretty uh, steadily for us uh, the whole season. Pretty much come out here every other day and harvest a zucchini about that size. So we'll take a look at the melons. Now, I've had some issues with the melons this year. Um, first issue, issue was uh, my original seeds that I planted didn't really germinate. And then the ones that did got killed by the cats. So I ended up having to buy all these plants. And um, they were doing really good at first. Um, I had four watermelons over here. I still have two of them. <coughs> but what happened is I got busy and I didn't... Uh, put this little sling around the watermelons and two of them unfortunately uh, fell off before they were ready. So I've lost two watermelon. Um, I've also had some issues with the cantaloupes um, opening, like splitting open like a flower and then you know the insects and critters get in there and ruin them. But I'll, I'll flash a picture of one of the cantaloupes. It kind of opened like a flower. Um, one of them I caught before it opened all the way, and it was actually a really good cantaloupe, super sweet and uh, juicy. So, here's a cantaloupe right here, actually. I should probably check this because, oh, that's still good. It's not opening. So, that's good. So, we'll go down the line. Um, I also wanted to mention that I had, I've had some issues with my irrigation uh, drip tubing um, where um, one of them failed um, part way in and it caused a problem for about, a, I'd probably say like, like maybe a day to where the garden wasn't getting uh, watered enough, maybe a day or two. And uh, it was during like a heat wave and I, I just caught it in the nick of time, but it kind of it kind of hurt the plants a little bit. Um, they weren't getting the water they needed. So I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you where I where I had to fix that. Actually, let's go do that. Yeah. So this this tubing right here, somewhere. Oh yeah, right in here. Somewhere in here, there's like a. I think there's like a rubber. Uh, t there's a rubber tube inside here and it exploded like it cracked so it wasn't this this uh, drip tubing wasn't building up the pressure it needed to uh, you know feed the the, the um, to make it drip so what I had to do is as a temporary fix I had to put this clamp on here uh, to stop the water from dumping out 
So after I did that, it uh, started working again, fortunately. And now this, this isn't getting watered with the drip, so I have to come out here with the hose and water it. And I really, I'm, I'm not sure why that happened. Um, I checked the water pressure, bef you know, bef that's coming to these, and it was under the um, under the rating that it uh, recommended for these these lines. So maybe the heat got to it because it was very hot out here, and that, you know, it's a black pipe, and who knows, it could have weakened the inner lining from too much heat. All right, so here are the peppers. Now the pepper plants are the probably the best crop this year. I don't think I've ever had this many peppers like production wise. So these are these are my Edvarsky peppers. I started these from seeds, all the ones in the cages and they are uh, doing really well. I was kind of worried at first because uh, when I first planted them, they were really small and kind of sickly looking, but uh, they've definitely um, bounced back and are uh, doing great. And they've been producing some nice looking peppers here. A lot of ripe ones. Really love those. So we'll head down here. Yeah, all the pepper plants are completely loaded with peppers. Look at this little guy. This is these are called uh, lunchbox peppers. It makes a little tiny uh, pepper. My son likes to come out here and munch on these things. So I've got some green bell peppers, and usually when I plant bell peppers, they don't do that this good. They only give you like maybe one or two, but man, this year, the thing is completely loaded. Um, they're starting to actually turn, what, a yellow? Interesting. So we should probably, uh, one of these days, we're gonna have to pick these guys and make some uh, stuffed peppers. We'll stuff some rice and uh, veggies in them and cook them up got another lunchbox pepper over here wow that thing is loaded with peppers look at this pretty amazing whoop oh shit I don't want to break that <clears throat> there's a red bell pepper variety I guess this is is this all one plant oh no look at that one wow that's a nice looking bell pepper hopefully it's uh the bugs aren't getting it. Look at that. Amazing. I forget what variety that is. Got too many plants to keep track of on the varieties. Some uh, purple uh, variety bell pepper. We're actually not a fan of the purple variety. They kind of have a funky taste to them, but they, uh, they look cool. <laughs> I've got one hot pepper variety. Um, I thought it was a sweet pepper, but it's actually a hot, but it is, it, it tastes sweet, but it's very hot. Um, we've got our um, sweet banana peppers. We love these, I got four plants. And these, these things have been produce, producing a lot of peppers. I've been, we've been picking these, uh, seems like every other day, harvesting a basket full. So very good producing pepper. This is my, um, little green bean patch these are bush beans and um, we've got some purple bush beans in here but uh, they're not the best they weren't the best I don't I didn't really care for them too much um, and as you can see they got kind of screwed up from the I think the heat and I don't know what I was think I was thinking about tearing them out and um, putting something else in here but um, looks like these beans are doing okay these are I think these are the Blue Lake bush beans right there. So yeah, this bed is doing fairly good though. Really, really pleased with the uh, production on that. Here's my sunflower. It's, uh, it's bloomed and uh, starting to make some sunflower seeds there. We'll head over to the back fence. Uh, you can see what well, you know the irrigation system it's still kind of screwed up it doesn't it doesn't even look like this is getting watered huh that's very weird yeah I think the drip tubing is still giving me problems unfortunately but uh, we do have some beans growing finally 
on the fence. We've got a lot of yard long beans, which that was my goal was to have this covered in yard longs. Really good bean to grow. My wife takes these and cuts them up in the little pieces and, and puts them in the Instapot and she'll make uh, lentils with them. Very delicious. We also, I think this is, uh, I think these are pinto beans. Something I had laying around and I threw it in the ground as a backup because I, when I first planted this, I had some issues uh, with germination and insects. And then here is the uh, Malbar spinach that I planted. It's uh, finally made it to the top of the garden. So yeah, everything looks pretty good. I'm really pleased with it. And what else? What, uh, what else am I forgetting to tell you guys? I think that's about it uh, for now. We still got to add the mulch. I really want to make this video for you guys talking about mulch. And uh, I've got many more videos on, the, you know, how you can start a garden or ideas basically and to show you what I'm doing. So I think that's enough for today. On my next episode, I will be mulching the garden walkways and growing beds. Before you end this video, I need another favor from you. Can you please like this video and share it? Also click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on my latest garden videos. And with that said, I wanna thank you for watching and I will see you the next episode. And oh yeah, don't forget to check out my other videos here.